going on everybody? I am for my first time seeing the Gulf waters of Texas. Kind of like out the window, that side. And then over the barrier, which you can't see on that side. Hey everyone, Joel Hans here. Today we're outside Seafood and Spaghetti Works. Seafood and Spaghetti Works, which looks like this. It's a really, I don't know if you can see it too well with the lighting, but it's a really cool dome, almost hot looking thing in Port Aransas, Port Aransas, Texas on Mustang Island. So essentially this is like Corpus Christi area. My first time actually being down in this area. So super excited. And what are we doing while we're here on friggin' island by the beach? This is like the go-to weekend destination spot. We're here to eat the biggest, the biggest seafood challenge I've ever seen in my life, guys. This is not only featuring like a variety of different fish, a variety of different shrimp, there's crab cakes, there are, uh, I'm sure I'm forgetting so I think calamari. I'm gonna get you all the details. I know there is just so much stuff here, so I'll uh, get it when we get inside. I know we are in quest for a free meal. We do have a one hour time limit. Apparently this thing weighs upwards of about 11 pounds, 10, 11 pounds. So it's definitely Texas' biggest, if not the world's biggest seafood challenge. Crazy thing though guys, should we fail this, we're looking at about a $300 price tag. So I tell you what though, you pay for quality. They have not only, apparently like the best crab cakes ever here, not being filled with fillers, not only are they getting fresh quality fish, all the highest ingredients, I mean we are an island after all, but I'm super excited to come on in, give it a shot, of course they're known for their seafood, and their spaghetti, their pastas, but a variety of other things. So let's get you some more details, let's have some fun. Eat some food. Let's get rocking. Everybody, so here we are with the big platter, guys. This looks absolutely amazing. So to get the specifics what I have in front of us, I have a piece of grilled snapper, a piece of blackened snapper. I have two pieces of grilled mahi-mahi, two blackened mahi oh no, three blackened mahi-mahi. I have a whole bunch of their giant grilled shrimp. These things are absolutely huge. I have um, eight of the pesto truffle scallop. I have their seared tuna over here, which looks awesome. It is uh, topped with a bit of a blackening season, I believe, as well. Also, the spicy mayonnaise. We have a couple of their sauces on there, a bit of sriracha. I have the stuffed avocado, which is super cool. So this is actually like crab, like real, real, real crab. There is a bit of a romulot on it, some pico, all in a half avocado. Sounds delicious. I have a serving of their vegetables right back here, guys. This plate is so huge. I have three of their house-made crab cakes, and it's like a real crab cake. There's not like fillers and stuff in it. It's really kind of more like a Maryland style, like basically just crab seasonings, yo, eggs, good stuff. I have their coconut shrimp, I have their regular fried shrimp, I have their grilled shrimp, I have their blackened shrimp. I have a full serving of ca uh, calamari back here below all their fried fish, guys. This is absolutely amazing. It's a huge amount of food, but I am so excited. It looks so good, smells so good. This area is known for its seafood being right on the water, and of course it's fishing. So with that, guys, we're gonna start here just momentarily. Let's just say there is no shortage of food here. Like seriously, this barely fits in the frame. I also have some Cholua, I have some Tabasco, I have some ketchup. It's not Heinz, but I do love me some ketchup. Also other sauces. I have a uh, house-made tartar, a house-made cocktail, a house-made ramelad. I have their corn salsa. I have a lemon aioli, and I have an apricot kind of jelly jam thing they mentioned. So I'm excited to try all of that. Plus I have a variety of different lemons. And really I have, I think everything and more I could ever ask for. Uh, I'm probably gonna start maybe some of these veggies here. I always start with your vegetables, kids. So how about we get going, let's say right now. Exactly what you expect. Gotta get the healthy veggies in, kid. 
Hey everyone, welcome to Zero. Today we are here at Seafood and Spaghetti Works. Quite the name of a place, I will say, in Port Aransas, Texas, guys. And I was so excited to dive into what I truly do believe to be the biggest seafood challenge ever. But of course, you didn't come to watch me eat vegetables. So with $300 on the line and only 60 minutes, I know I was going to dive on into this delicious meal. We came for fresh Texas seafood. I already told you all what was in it, so I'm not gonna repeat myself, but there was a lot of items. What I will say is all of this just seemed so fresh. It smelt so good, and I was really hoping I would actually get to try everything. I'm gonna go with this tuna. All right, guys. Woo! Beautiful rare su tu seared tuna. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That is so tender. Mm. It literally is like butter. Mm. Fish butter. Mm. Man, the aioli, there's definitely like a, kind of like a poke sauce, a sauce they put a poke on there. I don't know, it's or soy. Texas is an amazing state, but I didn't realize they had such nice beaches and great seafood. Let me know down below if you knew Texas had nice beaches. That is the best seafood tuna I've ever had. I'm not making that up. What else really impressed me was the diversity. I mean, we had so many grilled, blackened fish, um, the seared scallops, I mean, the variety of different shrimp, the fried fish, the crab cakes, which they made there themselves. Wow, all you can say. Amazing, amazing tuna. All right, let's try maybe scallops next, pesto, and uh, truffle. Ooh. And Parmesan. And it's crazy how close this place is to the water. It's literally like four blocks to the water. This whole area is just like honestly pa beach paradise. Nice flavor. That pesto is real strong. You know, try these giant shrimp over at it. They really are giant. These are grilled. I can give, give the scallops. They're not shelled, so they'll be easy to eat all along. Get these out of the shell. Ooh, salt, pepper, nice seasoning on that. At that though, there's a lot of natural commentary throughout this video, so let's see if we can complete this meal, get the meal for free, and that let's see what happens. Giant shrimp. I mean, it's literally what they're called on the menu. They're called giant shrimp, giant grilled shrimp. Nice richness on there. Delicious. I do love seafood, guys. Let me know your favorite seafood down below. We got shrimp, we got crab cakes, we got fish, all the good stuff here. I'm definitely gonna be all seafoody after this one. I got the gloves, but I probably should have like a bib. Or a poncho. These are the grilled shrimp. I imagine it's pretty similar. There are so many shrimp on there. This is amazing. And they have a beautiful kind of sear on those grilled shrimp. Our flavor. Definitely, they use a real butter too, using that real butter. I mean, it makes sense that this place has been here for 45 years. Mm. They do it well. All right, I think we're now into the blackened shrimp. Mmm. Woo! Five, yeah. Mm. That's an amazing flavor. Get some, like, onion, garlic. Paprika. Mm. Oh, cayenne. Perfectly cooked. They're so juicy and moist. 
and this blackened seasonings they, they've, they've made, it's not like it's really salty. There's a perfect amount of salt. But sometimes the store-made ones are so salty. This is perfect. So, I'm probably, um, uh, I'm gonna finish off these scallops now. The truffle is rich. Good flavor though. And then, we're getting some of these fried items. Maybe I'll hit the fish first. I'm gonna try this too. Sub avocado. But, I think it's gonna be really light and refreshing, so I'm gonna save it. Probably when it's more along the lines of, uh, oh, I don't know how penis, when, uh, mm. we want a little fresh bite. Oh, yeah. Is there a little taste of that? Very good. All right. Um, we're just over nine minutes in, into fish and chill. All right. Try this. Black and mahi mahi. Mm. Nice and meaty. Present chai sauce. Now you got the grilled, salt, pepper. You can get a little bit of ketchup to actually go. I feel like it some ketchup. A little bit of hot sauce. That could be a nice addition. That blackened fish, as you should have went with the uh, Tabasco. Shout out Louisiana. Mm. Ooh. Great combo. Blackened fish and hot sauce. Fish mahi mahi, nice meaty fish. Here we got that snapper. Give that a shot. Where's we got the grilled? I love snapper. It's a little bit more of a stronger tasting fish. But it's also a little more flaky. Try this. Mm. Apricot jelly, whatever it is. Very good. A lot of food, everybody. Put it that way. Get some air out of me. All right, try this here. It looks very, very delicious. You. Again, those great flavors in that black and season. It's definitely not, not like spicy. Like, if it's not spicy, not overly salty. I think it would suit a lot of palates. Diet, blackened fish and a hot sauce. I love it. About 16 minutes in. There's a lot more food here than I anticipated. I mean, I knew it was gonna be a lot, but it's a lot. I'm gonna check this ketchup and hot sauce out. Let's get this fried fish. This is sole with their house made batters and seasonings. Mm. 
Mm. Good crunch. A great flavor. Mm. Some herb in that's very fresh. Really fresh. Love it. I'm trying that tartar sauce. Very good. Oh yes, please. Woo! Good fried fish. Alright, a monstrous pile of calamari, a monstrous pile of shrimp, three giant crab cakes, and then the avocado. Everyone, holy crap, that fried fish was awesome. A lot of times fried fish, fried fish, that stood out. That was actually like great seasoning. A long time since I had such a excuse me comments to the chef delectable fried fish Woo. no shortage of food though um I'll probably excuse me Woo. get through some of these fried shrimp and then let's get to these crab cakes and this will try the cocktail sauce that's pretty classic <laughs> I almost held some. There's a good bit of horseradish in that. Mm. Ooh. Strong horseradish. It's basically horseradish and ketchup cocktail sauce. I love horseradish. Let me know if you like horseradish down below. Right now we're down to the coconut shrimp. Mm. I like coconut shrimp, guys. Nice sweetness on it. Something about just that coconut on shrimp. Ooh. Oh, I think this is what that uh, chili apricot jelly was for. I like get a little dip action going. Whoops. Mmm. Oh yeah. Sweetness. Coconutty. Calamari, crab cakes. I'm excited to try these crab cakes, guys. It's been so long since I had good crab cakes. It's hard to find them. But they aren't our fillers and fake nowadays. So shout out to Seafood and Spaghetti Works, guys, for not, you know, excuse me, comments to chef, really. They deserve it. Try this crab cake. Oh my god. Yes. Woo. Mm. Look at all that crab meat in there. There's so much crab in there. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at that. Look at that pull action. I'm going to break that up for you. Look at that. Oh, the sweetness of that crab. Mm. The pepper on there is really that black pepper. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Shockingly good.
shout out to the crab cakes, everybody. Literally, probably the best crab cake we've ever had. And thanks everybody for watching live. Calamari, stuffed avocado. Woo. I mean, we are on the crab kick. Cake kick, you know, get it? Maybe I'll try this item right here. Because this is really good looking, very refreshing looking. It's literally half an avocado with crab and pico and ramelade and everything on it, so see what that's all about. Fresh and rich. Delicious avocado, very, very ripe. I don't think I've ever just bitten an avocado like that. That ain't bad. Ooh. But definitely it's an avocado. Weigh. Um, probably like 170 to 180 pounds. Of course, right now I'm about 10 pounds heavier than it was 30 minutes ago. <laughs> All right, everybody, calamari. And they have the rings and the tentacles in them. They got the crunch down on that. Wow. I call it mine. Crazy country. That's a 4D crunch. I actually really like that cocktail sauce. I love horseradish. We're about 31 and a half minutes in. Like I said, impressive batter. The fact this is still so crunchy and crispy after however long it's been sitting there. I know how to fry some seafood. I know these are just garnish here. I said I didn't have to finish the jalapenos a bit one too, but I'll finish them. Might as well. There's some more avocado. Jalapenos. That's pretty much everything else. I'm just going to lick the plate. I have done that before. I went against you. Alright, no shortage of food. Let's finish on that. Orange salsa. Wow. Alright, and we we're finished there. About, um, I think it's about 34 and a half, 34, 40. You guys have an exact timer on screen. Wow, where do I start? I gotta say, thoroughly, 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 thoroughly impressed. So a lot of these items, I'm like, oh, I've had it before. You know, it'll be good. Let's stop right there. All right, the items that literally stood out here so much for me today. <clears throat> Ooh, comments to the chef. 
definitely deserves it. They've actually, the same chef has said he's been here for like 25 years or something, crazy. And of course this place actually being here for 45 years. So the two items that stood out to me so much is, first off, well there's three. Those crab cakes, probably the best I've ever had. With so much actual crab, so much crab meat. And so used to them, unfortunately a lot of them being like, you know, bready and like bread, like bread and fillers, not like breaded, but the bread, fillers, all this kind of whatever in it. Guys, this was like sh basically straight crab seasonings. That was phenomenal. Probably the best crab cake I've ever had, at least honestly to my memory. I'm not just saying that, I'm actually being honest. Probably the best one I've ever had. Second, which is actually again, probably the best of whatever I've ever had, that seared tuna. That rare seared tuna it was amazing. I couldn't believe how soft and tender it was. The flays were perfect. The bit of that soy or ponzu or whatever it was on there, along with the uh, a little bit of the aioli, and the I think that should be the blackening season on if I'm not mistaken, was fantastic. Again, both those items, maybe the best of each I've ever had. The uh, last special shout out I really want to give is actually their fried fish. I've had lots of fried fish in my life. I very much like fried fish, but the way they had that not only breaded that it was super super crispy like that calamari, but Whatever herb or seasoning they had in that uh, breading and batter was fantastic. Fantastic. But uh, that's about that, guys. So for that, we do get the platter for fruits. Pretty cool. It was a big challenge with a big number on it, but I totally recommend. This is like an oversized version of their um, normal, I believe it's called the seafood sampler, um, which has like the... The, uh, I think it's three of each of the different shrimps. You get your fried fish, you get your mahi-mahi grilled or blackened, um, some vegetables and etc. But I gotta say, absolutely amazing guys. We totally recommend stopping on by. So if you're ever in the port, Aransas, Aransas, I, I, for some reason I want to keep saying it more like Arkansas. But if you're ever in the port, Aransas, Corpus Christi area guys, Seafood, spaghetti works. Oh, and of course they have a whole bunch of pastas. It's right in the name, I mean, spaghetti. But uh, today we had definitely the seafood fix. And this is awesome. They really got it going here. I got no complaints. Cool location. It's like a big dome. And uh, it's right by the water. So it's the next one, everybody. Of course, say happy, hungry, happy eating. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. Let me know in the comment down below. Consider subscribing. Share it with your friends. And until next time, have a lovely day. Done. Thank you, thank you. Awesome, dude, dude. You fucking killed it, dude. Are you still alive? Yeah, yeah. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in the live. I appreciate you. If you guys like food, all kinds of content, feel free to check me out, Joel Hansen. Um, but yeah, guys, appreciate you watching. And thanks for your support here. Really cool spot. Definitely come on by, eat some crab cakes, fried fish, and shrimp, all the above. Appreciate you. That was delicious. I'm well, glad you enjoyed it, dude. Yeah, like, I was really just good. carved it down fast. That was real good. That, that one helps, like just working it down with. with and only because they insisted, guys, we have their famous Butterfinger Cheesecake. Oreo bottom, real Butterfinger Cheesecake, and then a Butterfinger Sauce. So let's give that a shot. You can see the Butterfinger in there. Looks pretty delectable. Mm. Butterfinger. That is very good. Not calorie free. Woo! <laughs> but delicious. And here we got Aransas Pass. We got, got the beach straight ahead. We got the hotels. It's very, uh, very, very, very like, how do I put that? Um, like beach town. All right, everybody. And here we are on the beach. On the beach, everybody. And guess what? We got our good friend to show us around on his golf cart. Shout out. What's your, what's your page, my friend? The Island Life of Port Aransas, Texas. Check it out, guys. It's a Facebook page. The Island Life of Port Aransas, guys. Our good friend here is gracious enough to take us out on this golf cart on this gorgeous evening. Well, I mean, it's a little cloudy, let's be honest, but getting a little bit of that sunshine before we head out. But yeah, this is the beach. This is Port Aransas, guys. I gotta say, it's some nice beach area. I'm down. All right, here we have the Packery Channel. There's this great big kind of walkway we're gonna walk out, lots of people fishing. But just beautiful. I mean, obviously, like I said, we've got some clouds. There's definitely a storm coming in, hurricane season here, but gorgeous, everybody. Gorgeous. And all the way on the end of the island, guys. 
Sunset boats, piers, beautiful ocean. And there's a ferry that runs from uh, Port Aransas to Aransas Pass, which we're on. So we're getting on this little ferry, heading on over. Apparently, uh, I don't know how long we drive it is, but we'll find out. But uh, yeah, so hopefully we'll get on here soon. There's one ferry full right there and uh, pretty cool. So we get a little ferry because this is an island. You only take a bridge or a ferry. So checking out the beach a little bit, guys. Port Aransas. I was down here for a little bit the other evening, but never really got to do it in the day. It's now, uh, it was got to do it about 10.30. Now it's about 11. Definitely we got that sun coming up. High, high, high sun. Definitely nice and hot. I tell you what, it was, you know, I sat over here for a while, just kind of on the bench, just watching. And, Cause I only have a bit of time, but I was like, you know what? I just want to feel my feet in the sand. So guys, I got my toes. I got my, uh, I don't, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna try to sing. I don't have my butt in the water, but I got my feet in the sand. I'm here in South Texas, no beer in my hand, but it's good, babe. So yeah, this is awesome. I, I like to like, feel this, you know, kind of the your feet in the sand. So I'm glad I got to make it down. Glad I got to check this place out. But guys, Texas is everything. I didn't know they, I've never been down to the Gulf Coast of Texas before. This is crazy. You got like everything you want. I still think Texas is probably the best state. Let me know what your favorite state is down below. Also, look how clear this water is. It's actually super pleasant, even in what is right at the end of September. And it is clear. I like it, even though there's a storm rolling in.